coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your 11th SDL 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be learning about uh, drawing optimized surfaces. Uh, so what we've been doing right now is we've been drawing, uh, we've been loading in our surfaces and drawing them raw and when we're only drawing like one or two or three surfaces obviously you're not going to see any uh, any problems but um, later on it, it becomes harder on the CPU and we'll be explaining on why uh, that is occurring so what we're gonna do is we're just going to create a uh, a function and we're just gonna call it optimized uh, surface and we're gonna take a string to the file path and uh, we're going to be taking the windows surface And so what we want to do is we want to create uh, SDL, an SDL surface and we're going to call it optimized surface, set it to null pointer and then we want to create another surface, just call it surface and we're just going to say SDL load BMP and we're going to load the file path and we're going to put underscore C string uh, to, con to convert it to a C style string because uh, um, it, that's what it requires. Um, so uh, once we have that loaded then we can always we can always do error checking so we can say okay if surface is equal to null uh, then do some uh, then write an error so I'm just gonna put error here I don't want to get wrapped up in writing a, a full error message uh, so if that if there is not an error, then what we want to do is we want to say optimize service is equal to SDL SDL convert surface, and it requires a source. So our source is the surface, and then it requires a format. And we're gonna take the window surface, and we're gonna say, oh, why did I put string? Sorry, it should be SDL surface up here. And we're gonna say format, or you know what? We don't even. Well, we can pass it by pointer. We don't really have to. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. So we'll say uh, format, and then for the flags, we'll just put at zero or null. So um, what is this saying? Well, whenever we load bitmaps, usually uh, bitmaps are 24 uh, bit. And uh, but usually our our windows surface is not uh, 24 bit. Usually maybe it will be 32 bit or something like that. It, it's usually different. And whenever we make a call uh, to blit, whenever we say SDL underscore blit surface, every single time we blit that, we always have to convert it to the screen's format. And so uh, that takes a toll on the CPU. So to optimize it, what we do is we say convert surface. Uh, we take the surface and we convert it to the Windows format so that when we blit it, it's not always converting it to the Windows format, it is already converted. So we're converting it to the correct format that we need it to be at. Now, um, you can obviously do a check to see if anything went wrong. Um, again, I'm not going to write a full error message, but just showing you where the error checking can go and voila so um whenever you create an optimized surface and you set it to something right it returns the sdl surface uh but this surface data is still a memory so it's sort of like it, it copies it so what we have to do is we have to say sdl free surface and we have to free the original surface and what we're going to do is return the optimized surface um as return value uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to create um, a window surface and we're going to create the uh, let's just say current current image and we'll set them both to null pointer and so after we've created our window we're going to say window surface is equal to SDL get window surface and we're going to pass in the window and then for our current image we're going to say is equal to optimize surface 
and for me I'm what we what I want you to do is to make an image that is smaller uh, than the screen size so we're gonna make a we're gonna split something that is uh, smaller than the actual screen size and if we go back here so I made I call it test small dot BMP and the window surface is right here uh, so once we got that loaded we can we can make a call to SDL uh, blitz surface and we can do that if we want but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a call to SDL blitz scaled and what it does is it uses something called uh, soft stretching which allows us to uh, stretch it to a certain size um, and it it sort of it's sort of it's sort of an optimized way on how to draw a scaled um, a scaled surface to the screen. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the uh, current image that we want. We're gonna put null here and the destination, which is the window surface, and then we have a destination rect. So what we want to do is uh, stretch it out in our destination rect and it, it asks for an SDL rect. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to create an SDL rect right now. So we're just going to be learning about this class. Um, yes, it asks for a pointer, but we don't really need to make it a pointer. Uh, so we're just going to say uh, drawing rect. And what we're going to do is that it comes with four properties. The x y and the y value, the starting x y value, and the width and the height. So we're just going to set x and... and y equal to 0 and we're going to set the width equal to the screen's width which is 640 and we're going to set the height to the screen's height and so what we're going to do is we're just going to say get the reference to a drawing rect and voila so if we what we need to do last but not least is we have to say SDL free surface and the current image and we need to uh, oh I got rid of the destroy window so we need to destroy the window as well which will destroy the window surface and then we'll just set the current image and the uh, window surface equal to null pointer then we'll quit so uh, just to walk through everything we did, uh, we created a surface and we loaded uh, a, B a bitmap. We set our we used SDL convert surface to convert it to the Windows surfaces format. So when we actually blit it, it doesn't have to convert it. Uh, so um, it makes it easier on the CPU. And then we used uh, we created a rectangle uh, that will take the whole rectangle of the screen. And then we use a scaled uh, blitz scale to do uh, a soft stretch of our image to stretch it across the screen. And we run this program. As you can see, it stretched across the whole screen. And and yeah. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we will be looking at the SDL texture, the SDL texture class. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And also sign up on my website for source code and other cool stuff. So thanks and bye for now.